This is the Fellow Opus. It's a $195 grinder, and Fellow claims it can grind for everything, from cold brew to drip, all the way to espresso. If you're looking for an all-in-one grinder that doesn't break the bank, it might be for you. But how good is it really? And the real question, can you actually grind for espresso with it? I've used mine for about a month now, and today I'm gonna share my thoughts. The Opus is a nice looking grinder, that's for sure. It's gonna look great on your counter, and that's a good start. It has a wide range of grind settings, 41 to be exact. And if you're a precision nerd, like me, you'll appreciate the micro adjustment settings found underneath the hopper. This allows you to make finer adjustments to your grind to dial in the perfect cup. What I don't like is that using these micro adjustments is kind of confusing. Luckily, Fellow made a video on that, and I'll link to it in the description. I also love that the hopper lid doubles as a dosing vessel for weighing your beans. And it features some handy grind settings on the inside. Next is a really cool magnetic dosing cup. Because of this, you'll never spill your coffee grounds. Speaking of not spilling your coffee, there's been absolutely no static buildup in my experience with the Opus. That's because they built an anti-static technology to allow your grounds to make it into your dosing cup without going everywhere else. One thing I'll point out here is that there is a bit of retention within the grinder, but if you do a little number like this, it will all come out. Not awesome, but also not a huge deal. From a grind time standpoint, there's a three-way button for the grinder that grinds in 30, 60, and 90 second increments. Plus, the fellow isn't very loud. It's actually pretty quiet compared to some of my other grinders like the Barazza Virtuoso or Vario W. So from a feature standpoint, it's pretty great. So let's talk about grinding. I brewed V60, AeroPress, French Press, and Espresso with the Opus. With those first three drip methods, I was impressed by the grind size consistency, and every cup I drank was pretty tasty. For espresso, the first coffee I tried on the Opus was a fresh blend from Blueprint out of St. Louis. And even with the finest grind setting, I wasn't able to dial in a good shot. For a control, I dialed in this espresso on my Malcona grinder and had great results. I went ahead and tried a second coffee from Blueprint and was able to pull an excellent shot. So really, your mileage may vary when it comes to espresso. You may have to find a coffee that works well with this grinder rather than thinking you can use any coffee with it. And that might be frustrating or annoying for you. For me, it wasn't a big deal, seeing as how I had a backup grinder for my espresso, but it's something I wanted to call out. Overall, I give the fellow Opus an A-, great aesthetics, nice features, not perfect, and a little bit of a learning curve. But overall, I'm very happy with it and would recommend it to anyone looking to upgrade their grinding game without spending a lot of money. If this video helped you in any way, do me a solid and hit the like button. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Until next time.